Hello, welcome back again to Engineering Semester Channel. Today let's start the another interesting topics of the WebRTC tutorial series. If you are new to this channel or new to this WebRTC series, please go and watch our introduction part first. Today let us see how can we debug a WebRTC application in browser. Suppose you have written a WebRTC peer-to-peer -peer application. Let us consider a video call application. In that application, you can call your friend by enabling the WebRTC technology. Also consider this is a web browser-based application. During the development of this application, you might require to know how this WebRTC process works. How they enabling video and audio frames. How they send streams to other user. So for that you should require to get WebRTC logs. Did you think about this any time? If not, certainly we can see WebRTC logs and also we can debug with the help of a browser. In this video I would like to share how we can debug WebRTC application. Let us start now. Let us consider your application runs on a web browser. We already know that WebRTC communications is a synchronous process. In the previous videos, we have already discussed about how WebRTC works. If you are new to this WebRTC technology, please watch the introduction video first. Now let us recap how WebRTC works. You know already that WebRTC will get the video and audio stream by using Get User Media API. Then, RTC peer connection object will create by WebRTC to initiate the connection. After that WebRTC will send and receive the SDP offer and answer with the help of stun and turn server. During this process it will set local and remote description of the user. The ICE candidate exchange will happen along with the communication. Now you think how to know whether any of the process is stopped during the video call. To debug this issues we required the WebRTC logs. Consider if you are using Chrome browser for the peer-to-peer -peer communication. Chrome browser offer a WebRTC internals tab to trace the connection. It will give you a complete logs of events and methods of WebRTC connection. I have shown a reference image in the right side of this video for your understanding. You can click on any of these APIs to see its parameters. Here you can see all the events names during the WebRTC communication. I have listed some of the common methods or events that are used in WebRTC. AddStream event will give the ID of the stream with audio and video tracks. In the create offer event you can see the offer request. You can check whether the request is success or fail with the help of create offer on success and create offer on failure methods. Another event name is set local description. In this, you can check the local description state. These are the sum of the WebRTC event names. There are a lot of other event names also in WebRTC connection. You can able to see those events in the WebRTC internal tab. You can check it later. Now let us look, how does this help you? Suppose your WebRTC app works locally, but not on a different network. Then, this logs will you would give a good picture about where the connection issue was. Next consider, if your network is blocking the connection. Then, this logs will you would give a good picture about where the network issue was. I have listed some of the problems here. There are a lot of other issues will come during the WebRTC development. So during the development stage of your application, Chrome WebRTC internal tab will help you to understand the issue and also will give you a good idea about WebRTC technology. Next let us look a real demonstration of this Chrome WebRTC internal tab. I have opened a WebRTC application and Chrome WebRTC internal tab together. You can open GitHub basic RTC peer connection demo page. It is free for testing. Here I have clicked the link. Now we can go and check the Chrome WebRTC internal tab. You can see here, it is not created a log yet. 
For that log, we can click the Start button of the demo page. Now the camera stream is activated here. Let us check the internal tab now. Here you can see the log for Get User Media Request. Next let us make a call. Now both camera streams are available here. This means WebRTC has been created the peer connection. Let us check WebRTC internal tab now. Here you can see two tabs with WebRTC logs. One is for client and other is for peer user. You can click client tab first. It will list all events and methods of WebRTC. You can check all the events one by one. Same way you can click and check the peer user tab also. You can see list of events as well. I hope you got a better understanding about how to use WebRTC internal tab now. That's it for now. I hope you got a better idea about how WebRTC application can debug with the help of Chrome WebRTC internal tab. If you are thinking this is informative, then like and share subscribe. Also support us. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.